So if Yolo Volo wasn't tough enough, he's then got Giratina in his back pocket. So you need to take that battle on straight away. And if you've had all of your team decimated before then, or you don't have a particularly strong team to take on Giratina, then you probably need to check out my video on how to beat Volo before you got much of a chance to make it through the battle with Giratina. However, there are some other tips that might help you out, including weaknesses to take into account. So for example, it's weak to fairy type moves, it's also weak to dark type moves, and dragon type moves, which is why all the ones that you manage to find as part of the end game missions, they're the ones that you're kind of supposed to use to fight Giratina and Volo. And the reason for that is because Giratina actually has two forms. So it starts out in this form, which you think you can just cruise on through. And then if you've had a few feints as a part of that little battle, and Giratina then transforms into its alternate form and gets the full HP bar as a result, then you're going to struggle. Now you saw the weaknesses earlier and Cresselia is a good option with her Moonblast. It isn't strong enough to one-shot it by any stretch of the imagination, but it will give you a good opportunity to do some damage. However, Giratina becomes obscured, which makes it more difficult to hit him, which is why it's a good idea to sometimes throw in items in between its moves so that you can also stay in the game for a little bit longer and allow it to use up as many of these moves as possible, which will make it easier later on. Now, in addition to your potions and revives, you can also use berries like the pineapple berry to save you from just decimating your entire potion stock. So that should help you out in this battle. But after you've managed to weather that storm, you should then be able to hit it up with some more Moonblast to do a really good chunk of damage and get it very close to being finished off. But Cresselli is probably going to be a casualty of war no matter what you do, unless you've got a load of max potions in your satchel. Other than that, there's no real way to avoid the sheer power of Giratina, and you'll probably have to go on to another Pokemon. Dialga is a really good option because he's got a really healthy HP bar, and he's also got Roar of Time. However, because the health bar of Giratina at this stage wasn't particularly big, I could use one of the other moves and save my Roar of Time for the second form of Giratina, which you can see in this little section now. So you go with Roar of Time. Sadly, I hadn't mastered the move. If you've mastered the move, you can make it even more powerful, but you can see this does a fairly healthy chunk of damage. It nearly finishes him off entirely, and then that just leaves Palkia to do the last of the work with the Spatial Rend Dragon move. And that is the end of the Giratina battle in Pokemon Legends Arceus and how I managed to beat it. Like I said earlier, if the video helps you out, drop a like, subscribe with the link on the left hand side and you can see more of my guide videos for Pokemon Legends Arceus with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I will catch you next time.